All right, let's see where shall I put all these. Mm, the clock. Hey, what's this? Hi, Mr. Ma. Oh. Hi, is everything, is everything okay? Uh, not really. Well, your, when your workers are helping me move my things, you see, they are putting the wrong things at the wrong places. Oh, no. They are putting a toothbrush in my study. Ah. They are putting a pillow in my dining room. Oh, what is no. this, Chris? That shouldn't be the right place. You know what, Mr. Ma, I'm so yeah. sorry for this, but it's I will okay. get it fixed right away. I'll sure. speak to them, alright? Thank right? you very much. Thanks, Chris. Boy, you're not supposed to put it here. TV KPM. Hi everyone, welcome, welcome. You are watching Tahap Satu for Bahasa Inggris with me, Chris MJ. What's your name? Are you excited to learn today? Hmm, I'm wondering, what do you think we are going to learn today? I see some wooden houses, some very small wooden houses over here. I'm sure you would want to know, right? But first, let's get to know today's teacher. That's right, friends. I'm here with Mr. Ma for today's English lesson. Hi, Mr. Ma. Hi, Chris. How Hello. are you? Fine, thank you. It's very Hi. good to see you here today. Thank you. But Mr. Ma, today it is not only the both of us. I That's have right. some classmates with us today. And could you please kindly introduce sure. our friends on Google Meets? Hi, everyone. Hello. All right, so hi to all pupils around Malaysia and also pupils on my Google Meet class. So let me introduce our four friends to here today. Right, first we have Tan Jae Han from SJKC Kat Hua H Alos Da Keda. Hi Jae Han. Hi Jae Han. Right, yeah, that's Jae Han. Next up hi. we have, yeah, hi Jae Han. Next up we have all the way from Sarawak, Ignatius Wong Ki Hen from SJKC Chong Hua Miri. Hi Ignatius. Hello hi. Ignatius. Hello. Nice to meet you. And also all the way from Kelantan. Duha Maryam Binti Warit from SK Kubang Korean Tiga Kota Baru Kelantan. Hi Duha. Hi Duha. And last but not least is Sufi Maryam Binti Muhammad Faizan Kairi from SK Banda Tenggara One, Kulai Johor. Hi Sufi. Hello Sufi. Yep. All right. So these are my new friends for today. Yes. And I would like to ask them first before we proceed with today's lesson. Sure. Are you ready for today's class? If you're ready, give me a double thumbs up. Yes. All right. Great. So, Mr. Ma, what are we going to learn today? So, for today, we are learning about what's in your house. Okay. Oh. So, we will be looking at uh, the things in our house and also parts of the house. So let me share our learning uh, objectives for today first. Okay. Okay, if we look at the slides. Right. We are learning to spell at least three words related to parts of or the things in our house correctly. And also we will learn how to ask at least two questions with guidance to find out information correctly. So those are our learning standards. Okay, first of all, let's look at the different parts of our house, okay? Now, what is this? This is a bathroom. So, we take our shower, brush our teeth in our bathroom. This is our bedroom, okay, where we sleep. This is our living room, okay, where we watch TV and just relax. All right, and this is our dining room where we have our meals, our mm. breakfast, our lunch, our dinner. dinner. This is a kitchen where our parents will prepare meals for us. And these are the stairs to go up to the second floor. And this is a cellar. Well, Chris, a cellar is not very common in Malaysia, but it's like a, a basement, okay, ah. where we store different things. Okay. okay. And this is a hall. And this is where we do our revision and homework. It's called the study. And this is the storeroom Store where we keep our things. So now, what I want our pupils to do 
is to tell me what these spaces are to see if they can spell out the words correctly. Okay, All right. so let's try. Okay, pupils, can you see my screen now? Okay, what is this place? This is a place where you sit on the sofa and you relax and watch TV. What do you call that place? Can you please write on your whiteboard? Ooh. Little whiteboard. Chris, can you do that for me as well? Yes, teacher. All right. Okay, what do you call this place? You know, usually when we open our main door, we go in. All right. Okay, can you show me the answers? Okay. Great. Like All right. So let's check our friend's answer here. Okay. Ignatius living room, Jehan living room, Sufi living room, and Duha living room. Same as yours, Chris. Yes. That's right. Correct. Well done. It's the living room. Okay. Next. Let's try the other one. Now, uh, who knows the answer for this one? What do we call this place? Can you raise your hand? Can you just raise your hand if you know? Okay. Yes, uh, Sufi. Sufi, can you just tell me what this place is? Sufi? What do you call it? Cellar. Can you please spell cellar? S. Try again, yeah? Yeah. Can you spell cellar? E. 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 N. N. E. R. Good try, Sufi. Okay, Sela is spelled as C E L L A R. Okay, let's look at another one. Okay. What do you call this place? The place where you sleep. Anybody? Can you raise your hand to tell me the answer? Yes, Ignatius. Ignatius, Bad what do you call this place? Bedroom. Can you spell that, please? B E D R O O M. That's right. Good one. All right, one more. Ah, this is a place where our mom cooks. Okay, what do you call that place? Raise your hand, please. Yes, Jehan. What do you call that place? Hitchen. Yes, Jehan. Say, can you repeat that, Jehan? Kitchen. Can you please spell that? K I T C H E N. Well done, kitchen. Okay, and the last one. Can all of you please write this place on your whiteboard for me, please? What do you call this place? You know, after a day when you come back from work, you just want to go in and get take a nice shower. What do you call the place? Okay, okay once you're done, can you show me the answer? Like Chris is what Chris is doing as well? Okay. What do you call that place? Well, I don't want to show my answer first. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll wait for them. Okay. Okay, come on. So we have got Jehan showing the answer as bathroom. Good. Ignatius okay. showing as bathroom. Sufi, bathroom. And Duha, bathroom. Well done. All of them can spell correctly. Chris, yeah. anything for them? Yeah, so should we give them a reward? Yes, please. So what reward should we give them? I think we give them a big clap and also a big star. All a right. Big star, well yeah. done. Thank you. Good right. job, so, everyone. For this segment, what we learned is the different parts of the house. house. So we are we have learned words like bedroom, yep. bathroom, kitchen, dining room, cellar, storeroom, and so on. All so right. kids, you should know what what our, how to call this place in your house. Yeah. So That's those are right. parts of the house. So we're going to learn more after this. But first, we're going to take a short break. So don't go anywhere, we'll be right back only on Tahap Satu, Direct TV, KPM. Everyone, 
Welcome back to Tahap Satu with me, Chris MJ. And today we are going to learn English together on the topic of what's in your house with my friends on Google Meet as well as Mr. Ma. All right, Mr. Ma, what are we going to learn in this segment? Right, in this segment, we will learn to describe the things in the different parts of our house. But before we start describing, let's learn the things in our house. Okay, okay. so what is this? Chris, what do you think this is? Um, this is a kettle, yes, is that it's correct? it's a kettle that we use to boil water. Where do you think we can find this in our house? Hmm, well, what do you think? Ah, my friends say in the kitchen. Yes, that's right, in the kitchen. Yeah. What about this? What do you call this? Something that you sleep on. It's okay. called a pillow, pillow. right? Okay. Pillow, and we can find this in our bedroom. bedroom. Okay, All let's right. try this. Now, I'm going to ask our friends on Google Meet to okay. write out where do they think they can find a clock in, the, in their house. Okay, so pupils on Google Meet and pupils at home, can you please write out the place where you can mm. find a clock in your house? Can you please spell it out? Okay. Okay, can you show me if you have done? If you are done? Hmm, I think... Mm. What do you think? Yeah, I think... Chris, what is your answer? Where do you think you can find a clock in your house? It can't be in the bathroom. It, hmm. it can, it can, it's possible. It, yeah, it depends. It can be anywhere, right? Yeah, that's right. Okay. Well, you see, all our, our friends here, they have the answer of living room. Chris, living room as well. Yeah. Ah, actually, I think you can find a clock in most parts of the house. Yes. You can find it in living room and also bedroom, maybe. Yeah. Okay, what about this? This, you use this when you take a shower. Mm. This, is, this is called a towel. towel. When you have one, it's towel. When you have two, towels. towels. Okay, okay, and what about this? I think you should know this, right? These are books. books. A book, books. And finally, boxes. Okay, boxes. Where do you think you can find boxes? I think, ah, what do you think, Chris? I think we can find boxes in the storeroom. That's right, that in the storeroom. So what we are going to do now is, our pupils, we will learn how to describe the things in the different, house, in different parts of our house using this structure. When there's one, we say, there is, there's a what in the where. If there are many, we say, there are, how many of them? In the place. Okay? okay, so let's start with an example. For example, you see in this picture, we have a clock, all right? So we say, there's a clock in the living room. There's a clock in the living room. Okay, what about this? All right, this is the picture of a kitchen. And if you look at the arrow, it is pointing at this. So pupils at home and pupils on Google Meet, can you try to write out the answers for me, please? There's a what in the where? All right, so we can fill in the blanks. Yes. Is that correct, Mr. Ma? Yeah, you need to fill in the blanks okay. and probably write them on this piece of whiteboard. All okay? right. Hmm, what is that in the kitchen? Mm. We have so many things in the kitchen. We have the Ooh. fridge, we have the okay. blender, the pot. But what is the point, the arrow pointing at? Okay, okay can you show me the answers, please? All Aha! Right. Yes, Ignatius have got it. Sufi. All right. Okay. okay, so we have got, there's a kettle in the kitchen. Yes, Jehan as well. Thank did, you very much. Did everyone there's get a, the answer? Yeah, they did. Awesome. Okay, there's a kettle in the kitchen. kitchen. Let's move on to the next one. Okay, okay. what about this? What about mm. this? Um, can I have Jehan to tell me instead of writing? Jehan, can you see the picture? It is pointing at this. So, Jehan, can you tell me the whole sentence? There's a... There's a pillow in the bedroom. Well done. There's a pillow in the bedroom. Okay. The next one. What about these? There are two. Okay. There are two. So, can I have Ignatius to try, please? Ignatius, can you tell me? Can you fill in the blanks? Can you tell me the whole sentence to describe the picture? There are... There are towels in the bathroom. Well done. There are towels in the bathroom. All right. Next, what about duha? Duha, can you try this? 
What do you have here, Dara? There are books in the study. There are books in the study. Well done. And finally, aha, I don't have any cues for you, any clues for you. Can you write out this sentence for me? What about this? What are the arrows pointing at? Okay. So, can you write the whole sentence? Just to see if you can do it, okay? Just give it a try. There is or there are? Because there are two boxes there, mm. okay? Can you try to write the whole sentence for me? Okay, so we'll give our friends watching at home as well. You can try this along because I'm trying it now. Mm. There are many things, but the arrows are pointing at the... At what are they? The... I think these are the things. What are these? Oh, looks like Mr. Ah, Mai is showing you the what clues. Are these? Yep. Okay, so if you are ready with the answer, you can show the answers on the camera. Yes, please. Okay, let's okay. see Jehan's answer. There okay. are boxes in the storeroom. Good, Jehan. Right. So, well, Sufi was almost done. Yeah, he's almost. She's almost done. All right. How about the rest? Right, oh. Ignatius. There are boxes in the storeroom. Okay, Duha. There are boxes in the storeroom. Good job. Okay, and Sufi? Okay. Do you have boxes, a lot of boxes in your storeroom? Yeah, there are boxes in the storeroom. Well done. So all of them have gotten them correct. So well done. So Chris. Are we going to give them a big yes, sign? Yes, we're going to give them a big them, clap. That's right. Go. Give, them that. give so, yourself a round of applause. Wow, this is very loud. Yeah. All right, so what did we learn in this segment? So in this Mark? segment, we learned about the things in the different parts of the house and they have learned how to describe them using there is or there are. Okay. So that's what we have learned in this segment. All right, thank you so much. But first, we're going to learn more about what's yes. in your house. But first, we will take a short break. And don't go anywhere, we'll be returned here on Tahap Satu with Mr. Ma for Bahasa Inggris, What's in Your House? Hi friends, welcome back to Tahap Satu with me, Chris, MJ, Mr. Ma, and also my friends on Google Meets, Ignatius, Sufi, Jehan, and Duha. And today, we are learning English on the topic of what's in your house. Alright, Mr. Ma, what are we going to learn in this segment? Right, in this segment, we are going to learn how to ask questions to find out information about your house. Okay? okay. So, if I want to know more about your house, what are the types of questions that I can ask? Okay, for example, we can say, is your house big or small? All right, or we can ask, is there a what in your house? For example, is there a cellar in your house? Or are there bedrooms in your house? Okay, or the third type of questions that we can ask is how many? So for example, how many bedrooms are there in your house or how many bathrooms are there in your house? Okay? okay, so we are going to practice asking questions. So to start with, okay, I will have two pictures here. All right, Chris, I need your help in this. Okay. Can you just choose one of these houses but you do not tell me which? Okay. I'm going to ask you questions. All right. And you will answer me. I have to guess whether it's A or B. B. Okay? Understood. Right. All right. So, Chris, the first question, is your house big? Um, yes, it is big. Okay. Uh, is there a dining room in your house? Yes, there is a dining room in my house. Right. How many bedrooms are there in your house? There are three bedrooms in mm. my house. Is your house A? Yes, it is A. All right. So okay. that's how we ask the different types ah, of questions. So right. now, the pupils will have to ask. Okay? okay. So Chris, there are four pictures here. 
Can All you right. please choose one and don't tell them, don't show them. Okay. Okay, any of this, any of this, choose one. Okay, and pupils, if you want to ask questions, please raise your hand. So Chris has chosen, All right? Okay, okay I've so, chosen. Good, Duha, can you ask the question, Duha? Is the master bedroom big? Yes, it is. The master bedroom is big. Is the master bedroom big? Okay. Uh, Jehan, next question please, Jehan. Is there a living room? Is there a... Can is you repeat the question? Is there a living room? Yeah. Mm, yes, there is a living room. Right, there is a living room. Any more questions to ask anyone? Yes, Sufi. Is there a kitchen? Yes, there is a kitchen. Is there a kitchen? Yes, there is a kitchen. Any more questions, Ignatius? How many bedrooms are there in your house? Right, how oh, many wow. bedrooms are okay. there? One, two, three. There are three bedrooms in my house. There are three bedrooms. So, do pupils, do you know the answer? If you know the answer, which house? Can you please raise your hand? Um, not yet? Okay, Sufi, any more questions, Sufi? Oh, or do you, you know the answers already? Uh. Okay, can you please write your answer on the whiteboard if you have known the answer? Okay. Which house is it? Is it A, B, C or D? I think Ignatius has another question to ask, is it? Ignatius? Is, is there a cellar in your house? Is there a cellar in your house? Mm, no, there is no, no there cellar isn't. in okay. my house. So can you write the answers please? I think they are writing. Okay, right. if you have done, please show me your answer. Okay, so uh, Jehan answered C. Jehan answered C. Ignatius C. Sufi C. Duha C. So let's see, Chris, is that the correct answer? Okay, let's see the answer. The answer is C. Well done. Please give them a big clap and a big star. Well done for asking the question. So let's check. We have three bedrooms in your house. Yes. Okay. We have a living room, a dining room, a kitchen, and also the Stairs. Yes. Okay. So that's how we learn. When okay. we want to ask for information, we can ask, is there, you know, a place or how many, how many bedrooms or how many living rooms are there? Okay? okay. So well done, pupils. So in this section, we have learned to ask questions to find information correctly. Okay. And I would also like to ask you, Mr. Ma, yeah. how did our friends on Google Meets do today? Well, I think our pupils did very well. First, they were able to spell words, okay, about things and parts of the house correctly. Then, they, were, they are able to describe, okay, what's in a certain place in the house. And also, they are able to ask questions. So, well done. I want to give them another big clap, please. Okay, so pupils on, yeah, yep. pupils on Google Meet and pupils at home, if you want to look out for more information for practice, please do visit the Sumba Cool website for that. All right, and with that, I would like to say on behalf of all the pupils at home and also my friends on Google Meet, a very big thank you to Mr. Ma for You're today's welcome. very fun and interactive class. I'm sure you have learned a lot on what's in your house. And before we wrap up for today, Mr. Ma has a special song for all of us, is that correct? Yes, I think there's a song, and let's sing together. Let's sing together. Come on everyone, stand up on your feet and let's sing along. We can do the actions together. Alright. Are there lyrics, Mr. Ma? Yes. Okay. I'm happy to live in my house with three bathrooms and a hall. I watch TV in the living room. Have, have meals in the dining room Sleep in my comfy bedroom Do, do homework in the study Cook nice, nice food, food in the, in the kitchen. kitchen Oh, I love my house so much That's Let's sing one more time, okay? All right, all right. I'm happy. Oh, that's uh, one time. Yeah, that's one time. Okay, okay, okay. All, right. <laughs> all right. Great job, everyone. Are we singing again? Yeah, let's sing one more time. I'm, I'm happy, happy to live in my house with three bathrooms and a hall. I watch TV in the living room. Have meals in the dining room. Do sleep 
in my, my comfy, comfy bedroom. Do homework in the study. Cook nice, nice food in the kitchen. Oh, I love my house so much.